I know this subject's been kicked around all over the place. I said I'd do an update and here it is. I'll mention this before we start. I'm talking OEM batteries and their respective drones only in this video. So this is where we are on the DJI Mini 3, 3 Pro and 4 Pro Remote ID Saga using the 249 gram and plus batteries in these drones. First, let's cover the Mini 3 and the Mini 4 Pro. If you are a recreational pilot flying under 44809 using the 249 gram battery, from now on the standard battery, you do not need to register your drone and the drone will not be broadcasting remote ID. You're set. But if you add accessories to the drone, like a strobe light to fly at night, prop guards, or anything that'll make the drone weigh over 250 grams, you will need to broadcast remote ID. So if you're using the standard battery and your drone weighs over 250 grams, the only way around this is to add an aftermarket or standalone RID module and register the drone and the RID module serial number or use the plus battery. If you use the plus battery, the drone will broadcast remote ID because this battery will activate the internal RID on both the Mini 3 and the Mini 4 Pro and then only the drone would need to be registered. If you're flying under part 107 and using the standard batteries, you'll need to purchase an aftermarket or standalone RID module and register the module serial number. Or again, use the plus batteries and of course, register the drone only. Now for the Mini 3 Pro. The standard battery for this drone works differently than it does on the Mini 3 and the Mini 4 Pro. Both the standard battery and the plus battery on this drone will activate the internal RID and registering only the drone is required. Now for a summary. The good. If you're using the standard batteries and you're flying the Mini 3 Pro as a Part 107 pilot, you're all set. If you're flying the Mini 3 and the Mini 4 Pro using the standard batteries as a recreational pilot, you're also good to go. The bad. If you're a recreational pilot flying the Mini 3 Pro using the standard batteries, you'll be broadcasting remote ID. With the Mini 3 or the Mini 4 Pro, you may have to decide between replacing the batteries versus using a standalone RID module. And the ugly. Flying with the Mini 3 and the Mini 4 Pro and using the standard battery as a Part 107 pilot, you won't be broadcasting remote ID. So a standalone RID module would be needed. And if you're a recreational pilot flying under 44809 using the standard batteries, and the drone weighing more than 250 grams, a standalone RID module would be needed here as well. And don't forget, you would need to register your drone and the RID module. If you use the plus battery for the Mini 3 and the Mini 4 Pro, they will broadcast RID and the drone would need to be registered. Why did DJI decide to do it this way? I don't know, but I do know this, it can cause quite a bit of confusion. I guess I see the good, the bad, and the ugly. I know there's plenty of sites out there covering this, but I'll suggest these two if you want more information on this subject. Pilot Institute and Drone Blog. I will leave the links below for these two sites. I know this isn't the fix for everyone, but I guess we'll have to live with it for now. That's it for this one. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to tap the subscribe, like, notification buttons, and share and leave me a comment. They're always welcome. Thanks for taking the time. And as always, be safe, fly safe, and have a great day.